In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to fix Fortnite not launching on PC. If you're having trouble getting the game to open at all, I'm going to show you a few potential solutions that might help. So make sure to watch this video until the very end so that you can try and troubleshoot it yourself. To get started, move your mouse cursor all the way to the bottom left of your screen and click on the file explorer icon on your taskbar. And then go over to the disk drive that you installed Fortnite on. For me, I downloaded it to the local disk drive C. Double click program files x86. And double click the easy anti cheat folder. And it will show you these files. So double click the easy anti cheat application and then click yes on the pop up. And then it will show you an easy anti cheat service setup. So click on this and select game 217 and then click on Repair Service. After that, click on Finish. So go back to the drive that you installed Fortnite on, then double click on Program Files. Then double click on the Epic Games folder. Then double click on the Fortnite folder. Then double click on Fortnite Game folder. Then double click on the Binaries folder and then double click on the Win64 folder. And it will show you a lot of files that are associated with the game. So, first, right click on Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping, and then select Properties. Go over to the Compatibility section, and what you want to do next is check these two. First check Disable Full Screen Optimization, and then run this program as an administrator and then click on Apply and click OK. And you have to do the same for these other ones too, so click on it. Right click and select Properties. And then go over to Compatibility and tick these two options. Do the exact same thing to the Fortnite launcher as well. After that, try to launch your game. It should work fine and you will be able to play Fortnite. If it didn't fix your issue, then let's move on to the next solution. So, open the file explorer and navigate to the drive where you downloaded the Epic Games launcher. Mine is the C drive. Then, double click on the program files x86 folder. Then the Epic Games folder. Then the launcher folder then the engine folder, then the binaries folder, and finally the Win64 folder. And it will show you all of the files that are associated with your Epic Games Launcher. So what you want to do now is click the Epic Games Launcher, and then right-click and select Properties. And then go over to the Compatibility section, and then make sure to check where it says Run this program as an administrator. And then click on Apply. Click OK and restart your PC. After that, you can try to launch the game and hopefully, it will work just fine. But if you still face the same issue, then let's move on to the next solution. So go back to the file explorer and then select the drive that you installed Fortnite on. Then double click on Program Files. Then double click on the Epic Games folder. And then double click on the Fortnite folder and then double-click on the Fortnite game folder and then double-click on the binaries folder and then double-click on the Win64 folder After that, scroll down and click on the Fortnite launcher and right-click and select Troubleshoot Compatibility It will detect any issues with the Fortnite launcher After that, click on Try Recommended Settings and then you can click on Test the Program after that, click Next. And if this worked for you, click Yes, save these settings for this program. If you still can't launch Fortnite, then let's move on to the fourth and final solution. So the final thing that you can do is verify the game files. So to do that, open up the Epic Games Launcher and then click on Library. And then click on these three dots right next to the game name. And click 
Manage, and then select Verify. And it will verify the game files and make sure that everything is as it should be. If you still can't launch Fortnite after trying out all of these methods, what I would recommend you do is completely uninstall the game and reinstall it back onto your PC. And also make sure that you are using the latest version of your graphics card drivers. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.